Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Baseball Mixer. Oh, it's three hobbies. That's why there was a third hobby box in there. Is that what it says here? I'll go grab that after I do the randomizer. But anyway, three hobbies, two jumbos, two sapphires. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up, and thanks to the winners right here in those jumbo pack breaks. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. A five and a four, nine times. Two, three, four, six, seven. And a ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got EA. All the way down to Kevin M. All right, five and a four, nine times for the baseball teams. One, two. Six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. All right, good. After nine, we've got the Angels down to the Azul Jays. All right, so Eric, you got the Angels, Deborah with the Giants, Ryan with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Tigers, Irvin with the Twins, Joe with the Marlins, Justin with the A's, Matthew with the Pirates, John with the Rockies, Chris with the Indians, Ben, last spot, Mojo with the Phillies, Mark, Cubs, Darren, you got my Dodgers, Irvin with the Braves, Matthew with the Diamondbacks, Aaron with the Rangers, Stephen with the Cardinals, Matthew with the Orioles, Talon with the Mariners, Jason with the Reds, Ryan S. with the Yankees, Travis with the Brew Crew, Ben with the Astros, Brady with the Mets, Aaron with the Nets, Aaron uh, Aaron H. with the Royals, Josh with the White Sox, Amber, you got the Padres, Aaron with the uh, Rays, and Kevin with the Jays. All right, so let's get all that on one screen. Let's sort by team, alphabetically by team. And I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades. I'm going to get that third hobby box. And when we come back, we'll have the break uh, and hopefully pull some monsters out of here. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. This break is brought to you by Ricola Dual Action Cough Suppressant and Oral Anesthetic. When I do group breaks and my throat gets sore, I always choose Ricola Dual Action found at your local retailer or drugstore. Here's the final printout right here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Ricola. There you go, yeah. That's part, of the, that's part of the ad read, too. That's right, Curtis. I am a sellout. I'd be more than happy to take that Ricola money. Ricola. I'd be happy. I'd be happy. I'll, I'll even put a Ricola logo image like right above my head. That's right, Brad. If Ricola said for every break you sponsor, if out of fives and under, you got to do Ricola instead of the train whistle, I'd be like, absolutely. Give me, give me that Ricola money. They, they, they'd send us bags and bags of free Ricola. Those are kind of expensive at the store. I don't know, unless Halls come knocking. We start a bidding war between Ricola and Halls. We're doing the three jumbos first, or three hobbies first, two jumbos, and then the two sapphires. I, uh... Stuff's expensive in LA. We gotta get gotta get that Ricola sponsorship. When I'm doing group breaks, I choose Ricola. Dual action. With a with a nougat, a nougat? A nugget of honey in the center. Mm-mm. It helps me do group breaks all week long. Ricola. The choice of the choice of good group breakers. 
choice. Good choice for the best group breakers. The only choice for jazbeescasebreaks.com. <laughs> you guys will start getting Ricolas in each box with your uh, with your orders. Woo! Maybe Ricolo put some uh, Jaspies, casebreaks.com logos on their wrappers. Woo! How sweet would that be? Maybe a nice orange flavored Ricola cough drop. Now in citrus. All right, as you well know by now, Paper doesn't ship unless it's the big guys. Robert Pawson, Jason Dominguez, Bobby Witt Jr. And the one auto per box and hobby, Jacob Amaya for my Dodgers. DMAC with the boys in blue. And there's our first Jason Dominguez paper for the Yankees. Ryan S. with the Yankees. Wow. Ryan S. got randomized the Yankees with the spot that he won in a jumbo pack break. Interesting. Let's see how that turns out for him by the end of the break. Stay tuned. You won't believe what happens in this box sponsored by Ricola. Watch, watch to the end and learn how Jaspie's dis disrupting the group break industry. Hard stuff behind there. All the other breakers hate it. <laughs> All the other group breakers hate what Jaspies is doing and how they're revolutionizing the group breaking world. Sponsored by Ricola. Stay tuned to that box right there. Where Jaspies will give you five ways they're disrupting the industry. Sponsored by Ricola. Those atomics are not numbered, but they will ship. What time are we start doing? Can we do midnight? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, usually we don't even have the product. Uh, the midnight before a new release. A lot of, like 95% of the time we're getting them the day of. So we wouldn't be able to do midnight, midnight releases even if we wanted to. So there's that. Paper, I'll set you aside here. I'll deal with you later. I'll deal with you later over here. But even then... I think we would just wait till the next day anyway. In the spirit of, I think some people, some of the other guys cheat, do it even earlier than midnight. Where's, where's the fun in that? Yeah, you sure did. Did I do the randomizer right? Nine times on the list, nine times on the list. Ryan S. was in spot number 21. They're, they're the Yankees in spot number 21 after I resorted it. Yeah, Ryan S. 
New York Yankees. You got one Jason Mingus paper already. All right, Aaron Haynes with the Royals. Gets the paper Bobby Witt Juniors. That's the set to play for the first time since 2008. Now, John Samuelson was saying earlier, he was watching some uh, Mariners inner squad games, and he said it just seemed weird without fans. I don't know how I feel about, about that. Because on one hand, I kind of do like the, the player noise. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like, like, players... You know, especially like in soccer and stuff, they're like, hey, go over there, hey, man, I'm over there. You know, you, I kind of like that sound. I wonder what kind of, what kind of sounds you'd hear in a major league game. There you go, Ryan. Dinner in Jaspies. You got the Yankees. Only two boxes in, only one box in, really. Here's the second box right here, so. If phones are allowed at the dinner table, <laughs> then you might... You might be able to might be able to watch. So I personally like the idea of hearing players play, but I, I don't I don't hate the piped in fan noise though. Yeah, HP is like I'll I'll be willing to to give fake crowd noise a chance. I think what what's more weird to me, less the noise, but more the more the uh, more the lack of the crowd. Here's a here's a problem, at least in Los Angeles. The the way the seats are painted, they're kind of bright. So at certain times of the day, and there's there's weird starting times now. I, th I think like games are starting like earlier in most places, like six, six forty local times. So that makes it a little weird. The sun sets at weird angles, especially during day games. Sun, sun, the sun moves, and at different angles, it can hit. Like if you're a, where's the sun coming in Dodger Stadium at first? If the sun hits seats at a weird angle and you're at shortstop or third, it could be actually a dangerous thing. It happens every once in a while. You know, it could be a dangerous thing. The crowd naturally absorbs sunlight. You know? So, there could be a weird thing where players will have to contend with with the sun reflecting off seats and into their eyes. So, I'm wondering if if by the time Major League games happen, if they're going to if they're going to wrap the seats in something. I, I, I would imagine they would. Just for player safety, almost like almost like a like a batter's eye, you know what I mean? That would be my guess. That once like professional games start, that they will do that. So the crowd noise doesn't bother me as much, but like the empty seats just look very strange to me. And that's a safety issue too. Right, exactly. In soccer, yeah, they they've been covering their seats in uh in their in the lower levels. But in football, in soccer, like that's not as big maybe for the goalkeeper, you know, and and so but but it's, a, it's so huge. It's not as dangerous as a as a 100 mile per hour baseball hitting a bat and coming off the bat at over 100 miles per hour. And screaming down the line, you know, or at your head if you're in the field, if you're an infielder. There's some, some serious dangers there. Ooh. And a Bowman Scouts Top 100, Jason Dominguez. I don't know how much these go for, but probably a million dollars. 
But yeah, maybe maybe the seat coverings they'll, they'll do just for visual, for TV purposes, and for player safety purposes. But I, I think I'll just be happy to have some baseball back. It'll be interesting to see. When's the opt-out deadline? Does anyone know offhand? Or if they want to look it up for me while I'm doing this? Um, there must be an opt-out deadline. I think it'll be interesting to see who, what, which players continue to opt out. I know someone mentioned Buster Posey today officially opted out. David Price from my Dodgers opted out. If you're wondering if free agents can opt out, no. I mean, I guess they, they, I guess they could, but if free agents who are free agents after this season opt out, the calendar for their free agency is extended another season, so they won't enter free agency. Brad says June 24th was announced the date the players need to notify the team of that choice. Okay. <laughs> Phil, Phil Mantini says Price just wants to play Fortnite. Yeah, I guess. 250. I mean, listen. I'm not going to. Not going to begrudge someone if they think it's unsafe, they don't want to do I mean, you know, I, I don't blame them for that. Here's Bobby Witt Jr. Royals paper for Aaron. I don't blame him for that, but I don't know. If I just got traded to a team, I think maybe just as a goodwill sort of situation, just as in a sign of good faith to your new team, I'd maybe just grind out the the sixty games, you know. All right, out of two ninety nine speckle autograph, there's Dios Arias. That's that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, he did get carpal tunnel playing Fortnite. Too much Fortnite. Does it feel like MLB will Brad's asking will be a reality in less than two weeks? I don't know. I mean, everyone's acting like it. There's Angel Summer Camp right now on MLB Network. Everyone's planning on it as if that's going to happen. Anthony Rendon doesn't like fake crowd noise pop piped into the stadium. There's Zach Collins to four ninety nine paper. That'll be for Josh Givner. They should put 30,000 dressed up blow up dolls in the stadiums. Yeah, in the KBO, in the Korean baseball organization, they've, they've put like all sorts of things. I think in Australia, they, they may have had like cardboard cutouts and, and, and stuffed animals and all sorts of, of, of wacky stuff out there. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I hope it happens, but there's no bubble situation for the Major League Baseball. They're actually traveling, so that's a whole other set of circumstances. If they were in a bubble situation, there's another Dominguez paper. If they were in a bubble situation, I'd be a little more confident that it would happen, but I don't know where you'd find that many ball fields at one time, but I don't know. Ryan S. with the Dominguez. All right, third hobby box coming up, and then we'll get into the uh, the jumbos. Yeah, I'm much more confident about the NBA and NHL happening. NFL, I don't think I have an opinion yet on that. <laughs> let's wait. Let's wait another couple months and see see how this pandemic goes. Phil saying, "Who will have the bigger asterisk next to their title? The MLB title? Uh, the Astros or whoever wins? Well, you're talking to a Dodger fan, so I think you'll know the answer to that." But to me, this isn't really, I guess both. To me, this really isn't a season either. If the Dodgers win the World Series, I'll obviously be happy, you know, but I don't think it's going to mean as much as when the Dodgers win a regular season, a regular, regular season World Series, you know what I mean?
I mean, when people talk about asterisks, we're talking symbolically, right? No one's actually putting asterisks next to things. Like MLB, MLB as a network would never do that, right? Or as a network, I mean, as an organization, will never put asterisks next to like their their historical stats part of their website. It'd be kind of funny if they did, but I don't think they ever would. But it's more of a symbolic. But yeah, I get what you're saying, Phil. But it's always funny when I hear people like, will there be an asterisk in the record books? Like, what record book? On, like, baseballreference.com? Will there be an Is that the record book of, <laughs> of record? But yeah, this season's just weird. I'll be happy. I mean, I'm just, I love baseball, so I'd just be happy to see baseball happen. You know, and if the Dodgers win a World Series like that, then fine. They'll get rings. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting in that, oh, remember that was the World Series the Dodgers won that weird COVID year? <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I think the, a, a full 162 game season playoffs and then a World Series would probably mean more to me as a Dodgers fan than anything. Phil says, I heard from Walker Bueller in, a, in the Theo Vaughn pod, you'll be able to buy a cardboard cut of yourself as a, as a gift to someone to sit in the stands for yourself as a gift to someone. That is awesome. Yeah, I, I will. How much? They're not going to charge seat prices for that, would they? That would be ridiculous. Not full seat prices anyway. It's better be like fifty bucks. That's not bad. I was like, if it's like if they're charging a hundred bucks for like fifty bucks for anywhere, or like, can I get fifty bucks my my five face with a Jaspi shirt, like in front of home plate? They gotta charge more for the for the more expensive seats, or maybe it's like a first come first serve thing. Maybe you can't choose. Maybe it'll just be randomly put into the stadium. I'll bet it's randomly put into the stadium. Yeah, Walker Bueller, I really love. Really smart dude. Um, I think like studied political science at Vanderbilt or something like that. Has a real foul mouth. <laughs> he dropped the f bomb after the Dodgers won that one game playoff series game a couple years ago, a year or two ago. Dropped the f bomb on live TV. Well, on the Dodgers network, so. But yeah, drop the f bomb. Entire crowd of fans. But yeah, sort of an intense dude. Almost like a sort of has that kind of Kershaw intensity and stuff. But yeah, really great dude. But yeah, I'll check that out. Yeah, Brad saying I'm not a Dodgers fan, but I'd be fine if they won after they lost twice to teams that were probably cheating. Well, one definitely was cheating. Astros. There's no doubt about it. Red Sox, I feel like the Red Sox thing was a little... And there's Davey Garcia to 499 refractor card for uh, Ryan and the Yankees. Red Sox, I feel like, wasn't as bad. I guess everyone... You, you could argue that everyone probably cheats to a certain extent. I think for the Astros, it was really just the... Anyone can go down... There's Robert Pawson for Justin Gutting, right? Anyone can go down to the video room, watch the tape, try to figure out signs, right? But I think the relaying of signs in, in that real time, I think, was the was obviously the big, the big difference, the big reason. Ooh, three out of five, Ford Proctor. Ford, Firestone, Proctor, and Gamble going to Aaron Tooley and the Rays. Won that spot in a jumbo pack break. Got randomized the Rays and gets this guy. I don't know what his deal is. Third round pick. Advanced hitter who brings the same pretty swing to the park every day. Good consistency. Intelligent base runner, sure-handed defender who's experienced at three infield posts. There you go. Three out of five gets you the train whistle. Out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I mean, Ricola. This break brought to you by Ricola. There's Bobby Dalbeck, the 25. Can't wait for, the, uh, for him to get into wine. Maybe some... 
Dalbeck Malbex would be pretty great. There you go. Red Sox, that'll be for Mark. Yeah, Manfred didn't really handle that investigation really well either. And um, ooh, another Dominguez paper. And then, I mean, I feel like this whole summer, you look at commissioners like Adam Silver and how he's kind of navigated this pandemic. And then you see how Manfred's been navigating this pandemic. And you just see how how woeful Manfred is. <laughs> HP says, if, if you retired the train whistle, I'd be one of those guys you see on the news burning his Jaspies jersey. No, that's not going anywhere. But there may be a sponsor train whistle. <laughs> All right, there's Jeff McNeil. Well, he might win a batting title one day. Jeff McNeil, Mets. That'll be for Brady. All right, then we're going to get to two jumbo boxes and then two sapphires. Yeah, Adam Silver is, is a legend. He's pretty good. I mean, he was one of the first. He was one of the first uh, commissioners to just openly think about how they're gonna incorporate like sports gambling into the NBA. You know, like he, he's he's thinking ahead. He's a he's a few steps ahead of the other commissioners. You know, seventy four out of one fifty. Drew Mendoza. And I think he just has a better relationship with, with like, uh, the players, I think. I think the players respect him a lot. All right. There's the jumbo. Three autographs per box on that. I mean, I think he's, he's handled all the, all the social issue stuff a lot better than the other commissioners. His, his NBA disciplinary committee or whatever, he's handled a lot better. I mean, maybe just the CBA is probably just better organized too, but but yeah. I think I think he's he's done a pretty good job. I mean, he's still a commissioner. You know, he's got the interests of the league slash owners in mind. Let's not forget that, but as far as that's concerned, he still has the respect for, from the players' union and the other side, and that's, that's pretty important. Nice, Lenny. Always double check to make sure there aren't any mini breaks attached to, to these guys too, ladies and gentlemen. Little filler breaks. Is that Vlad working out at first? Wait, I think someone mentioned that, I forgot who mentioned that in the chat earlier. Interesting. First and DH. DH, I figured. First base, interesting. DH is a universal DH is a thing this season. And probably, probably forever. <laughs> the pandemic run that timetable up on the universal DH.
All right, there's Julio Rodriguez. That's a big prospect for the, uh, well, just in general. He's 16th overall, according to this card. For the Mariners, definitely. Talon Foley to 150. Sometimes these, these Bowman scouts can be autographed. I think they're sticker autos, but they can be autographed. I heard this on local uh, sports talk radio. Some of you might have heard this elsewhere, too. Um, Aaron Haynes with the Royals. What about, what about going to the stadium? Because, like, you know, maybe people aren't going to be able to go inside. But going to the stadium in your car. Nice gold shimmer right here, 47 out of 50. Dios Bill Arias. For the places that can do this. And, like, doing, like, a drive through drive drive in ba baseball game not every stadium can do this but you know LA we've got huge parking lots around Los Angeles right around the stadium Rangers once again uh, Aaron Haynes nice would that interest anybody who has a stadium that has huge parking lots you just drive in you park no Brad says not in Seattle too small for the well what if you could still park there though like, there'll be, like, the thousand cars that can park there. Dodgers, like, thousands and thousands of cars can park there. Maybe if there's Everson Pereira, autograph, speckle auto for the Yankees. That goes to Ryan S. Yeah, Yankee Stadium probably wouldn't happen there. But for those of you who are at have the ability to do that. Angel Stadium also has like a big parking lot that you can do. I don't think the Padre Stadium does. Oakland Coliseum, right, has has a lot of parking lots spots, parking spots available. So maybe the idea is you can park, I mean, maybe concessions guys will be going up and down parking lot aisles. That could be a thing. You can listen to the game. And they'd set up video boards, I think, was the idea. There's Robert Possum paper for the A's, Justin Gutting. I think that was the idea. Set up big uh, big video screens. And I guess fans could, like, honk, I guess, in appreciation or in booing of a play or something like that. I don't know. This is what happens. This is the kind of discussions that happen when there's no live sports to discuss. On local on sports talk radio. Obviously, not every stadium could do it, but if you have a stadium that does have the parking lot space, would you do it? Would I do it? I'd, I'd do it. I'd go once. Just to try it. All right, next one. And um, Herrar Encarnacion, I'm going to go with that. 22 out of 50 gold paper for the Marlins. Joe Fagundes. Yeah, you should be able to zoom in, though. That I think that's a good concept, setting up, like, scoreboards or video boards where you can zoom in and they, you can get their audio, maybe. Maybe when the Astro and Dodgers play the Astros. Although, I don't think that we're hosting the Astros at all. Out of 299, Aramis Aidman Speckle for the Cubs. That'll be for Mark. Adam, what's up? Confusing absolute baseball filler break. It says two random teams, but there's 30 spots total. Hmm. There's Miguel Vargas. Um, I don't think that's supposed to be two random teams. In the description, it says 30 spots, all teams in. So I'm assuming it's 30 spots, and I feel like the title just wasn't updated. Sorry about that. All right, for the Dodgers, Darren McKenzie gets the Miguel Vargas.
we got Nolan Arenado, paper to four ninety nine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. that's a new release too. I'd like to I'd like to do that baseball tonight. Who hit the first home run as a designated hitter in Mets history? It's on MLB Network. Would that have to be interleague era? Yeah, Matt Franco in 1997. Playing the Orioles. the natural on in the background and the network. I wonder how many more players are going to uh, opt out. I think Brad or somebody was saying that June 24th or something like that is the opt out. July 24th opt out deadline. Let's notify teams. Still a little ways, like a couple more weeks, I think. So I've said this before, I'll say it again. I, if I'm the Dodgers, I'd be like, hey, Clayton, why don't you take a break this season? Rest that arm. You got back issues, rest up that back. You know, work on that core. You know, enjoy some family time. Come back strong next season. Stronger. I think he was, I think he was actually fine this season, but why risk it? And paying that man $35 million a year or something like that for what amounts to an exhibition season. I would strongly encourage it for Clayton. <laughs> Be like... And we've got a Speckle Auto, 299, Zach Hess. That goes to the Tigers, Matthew Shearer. Cat Team Mojo. I feel like we've got a Tim Hess that, uh, that shops with us. I wonder if they're related. Bobby Witt Jr. Paper goes to Aaron Haynes. Well, easy there, 116. There were there were there were some cheating that, that shorted Clayton Kershaw. Kershaw's a really intense dude. I I've also said this before, I'll say it again. I feel like Kershaw <laughs> won't win a World Series, like be successful in the World Series until like he might win one, but won't be successful until like there's like a like this last year of his career when he's just like takes a deep breath and just relax and just plays loose. There's Jason Dominguez. That'll be for Ryan. Another paper. Could be interesting to see what happens in that Sapphire for the big teams. Eric Pardino to four ninety nine. Was not born in California, Phil. I was born in Ohio. 
But my folks moved to Southern California when I was like a couple years old. Three years old, so I'm pretty much a Southern Californian. Yeah, I guess pseudo transplant. I don't know. I don't. I don't think my 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 sports identity was really set in place when I was one or two years old. Casey Mize, Tigers, Matthew. And Dios Bell Arias, Texas Rangers. That'll go to Aaron Haynes. the bat it's a pretty good job with the bat just doing it by hand maybe people back in the day were just naturally better with with wood with woodwork Robert Possum Chrome for the A's Justin Gutting We got Glaber Day to four ninety nine. And a Yankees auto coming up. I don't think it's not him, Everson Pereira, though. Uh, 319 out of 499. I think it's that second same person, Everson, going to Ryan S. and the Bronx Bombers. There's Gavin Lux right there. Nice. Robert Pawson paper. His name is Robert Pawson. Goes to Justin and the A's. And Sapphire time. All right. Good luck, everybody. Two quick boxes to go. I think I'm pretty little, pretty much on schedule. We've got a Brewer, 17 out of 50. Mario Feliciano, Travis Dow with the Brew Crew. And a purple Ryan Mountcastle, 5 out of 20. Nice. Orioles, Matthew Shira.
And we've got Grant Little and Evan White. And the final box. Final box of our seven box Hobby Jumbo and Sapphire 2020 Bowman Baseball Mixer. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. All this, any Bowman stuff, pretty great prospect hunting. That's where a lot of the big money can be. Especially if these players turn out to be, man, if Jason Dominguez turns out to be everything that we want him to be in the hobby, woo! Who knows what the ceiling could be on that, on his value. The ceiling is the roof. Casey Mize behind Mize is Rice Turing, 45 out of 75 orange. And a Luis Robert Sapphire card for Josh Givner and the White Sox. Anthony, where's football? Everything's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, there's Alex Kirlov, and behind him is woo, a 2 out of 25 Jason Dominguez Orange Auto. Wow. The last autograph of this break. I think that's the only the second Dominguez autograph I've pulled in Sapphire. And the first one was a base auto, and that was many breaks ago. Two out of 25 Jason Dominguez orange Sapphire autograph. For Ryan Shackleton, who got randomized the Yankees in this break. He won that spot, too, in a jumbo pack break. I mean, what what is this worth? Six? Seven? Thousand? Dollars? $8,000? More than that? $10,000? All right, here's a quick recap, by the way, folks. Thanks for hanging with me in this. This break took a tiny bit longer than I thought, but ended up being real nice. Didn't I tease that? I don't think it was that box. I don't think I pointed that box, but I was like, wait till the end, see what happens. Man. That's 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 a good that's a good what they call in the industry that's a good tease. All right, and there's your break, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. Congrats again to Ryan Shackleton. Thanks to him for getting in. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.